Hello, I'm Seher from Biz Asia. Uh, thank you so much for joining me and giving me the chance to talk to you about your amazing movie, The White Tiger. It's definitely one of the most memorable, memorable movies I've seen in the last you know, few months. And the, the first thing that really struck me was that the depiction of India and Indians like Balram isn't the stereotypical Hollywood way of, you know, the yellow filter, the brown face and those weird accents. Was that a conscious effort from you and your team? Or is that just a natural thing that came to you? Um, I can't say it was that conscious. It was just trying to depict the, the world as we saw it there. And as Arvind Adiga brilliantly guided us in his novel. Here in um, India, there are only two kinds of people. Those with big bellies and those with small bellies. It's my seventh feature film. Uh, almost all my films that I shot in America have been about working class, underclass, immigrants, characters struggling, including in chop shop, street orphans living in junkyard. And so you're trying to depict it realistically, but also um, maintaining the kind of biting sarcasm and humor that Balram Hallway has. And, um, you know, anytime I saw the cinematographer looking at a beautiful sunset, I would tell him, no, there will not be sunset shots in the movie. The thing everyone, everyone can take a picture of a sunset with their phone and God knows I don't want to see one more sunset as a screensaver or I will <laughs> jump from the nearest building. So it's just who you are as a filmmaker. Yes, it's, it's cheap. Used in <laughs> we don't need to see them. so what really stayed with me about you know after watching the movie was the absolute rage that just is emitting from the whole story despite the fact that there's so much like wit and sarcasm in it how did you find that balance between the two again you, you're looking at arvin's great book as the guide of, of how to maintain what he did i hope in the book which is it's a propulsive read. You can read it in a day. The book jumps out of your hand. And we were trying to make a movie that would jump out of the screen and grab you. Um, the movie, like the book, is kind of broken in half. The first half is more fun and playful and entertaining and, and, and funny and a li little lighter in tone. Then there's a very critical moment in the middle of the movie that turns everything upside down. And the, the movie gets a bit darker and more psychologically weird. And um, it still has the humor, but it goes to a darker place. And um, that's come, coming from the, the novel. And I, I, I think this simmering rage is something that people around the world can feel. Um, we saw it in the protests yeah. in, America, in America last year. We saw it in Lagos, in the incredible demonstrations there in Hong Kong. So I think around the world, there is a simmering rage about what it means to not have a chance to pursue your life, not, not to have a chance to reach your dignity as a human being and to have an opportunity. Thank you so much for talking to me. Best of luck with your film. I Thank really, you. really loved it. So I don't think you Thank need you. the luck. Thank you. Have a good day. Instead of the best film you saw in months, you could say the best film you saw in years. That's even better. Yes, I'm sure it will be. I'm sure it will be. There's a way you've set up the bar really, really high. <laughs> Arvind Adiga, Arvind Adiga, he did that. You have a good day, sir. Thank you.